Are you ready? I feel like there's more we need to know. But oh, I well, I think out. we'll be discovering it as the trial goes on. <laughs> but yeah, this will be interesting. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Today will be the final day of this trial. I hope both the prosecution and the defense will be able to present decisive evidence. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement. In yesterday's session, the defense presented us with a new theory for this case. He claims that the scene of the crime was, in fact, Studio 2. Today, I will call on people present in the Studio 2 trailer that day. From their testimonies, the truth will become clear. Very well. The truth seems a bit on edge today. You may call your first witness, Mr. Whitworth. The prosecution calls Miss D. Vasquez to the stand. Now this might be me like meta gaming, but the fact that she's been called first makes me think she is not the killer. <laughs> so, cool. <laughs> Miss D. Vasquez is a producer who was present in the Studio 2 trailer that day. Will the witness state her name and occupation? I'm gonna throw out an insane theory. Okay. Penny's the one who did it. She yeah. got her job at the studio because the person Hammer killed five years ago is related to her. Because she's super young now, she would have been super young, even younger then. Um, so it would have been hard to get a job that, like, uh, not impossible, but like it would have been harder to get a job like that, that quick, at her age. So I wonder if it was like done as a family favor thing, and then she wanted revenge, but she's wanted revenge for five years. Insane theory, I know, but I'm just saying it anyway, because if could I'm be, right, could be. I will scream. <laughs> and I've, I've said it now, so I can't be like, I, I knew it! Because, like, that's the thing, if, you, if someone says, I knew it, to, like, a bunch of things that come out of nowhere, did you really, without saying it ahead of time? It's, it's well, a hard thing to say that, but I, 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 this always happens to me. I yeah, was, the, my first thought is like the right one, and then I overthink it and I say something else. So I'm like, God damn it! It was the first oh, thing that I. Oh, thought. you mean me in every single Blood on the Clock Tower game? How I literally, <laughs> I literally yes. saw, I literally, exactly. like day one, I'm like, this is their role, this is their role, this is their role, this is their role, this is their role. Yep. You're evil, and you're then... evil, you're evil. And then day three, nope, none of them are evil. Can't be right. Can't yep. be right. <laughs> Changing my mind on everything. <laughs> <laughs> I I am the greatest detective immediately <laughs> and then the worst. I'm a yeah. hindrance to everyone alive. <laughs> D Vasquez. I always end up looking sus as well. <laughs> yeah. I'm a producer for Global Studios. On the day of the murder, you were in the trailer in Studio 2. As everyone here knows, yes. I dislike needless banter. If you must pontificate, do it when I'm not here. <laughs> I like her no-nonsense bullshit. <laughs> uh, very well, Miss Mas uh, Vasquez. Uh, please give the court your testimony concerning the day of the murder. Nick, I know she did it. Make her pay. I don't think she did, but let's go. If she's guilty, I'll catch her with her pants down. So this bit, okay. It's a phrase I wouldn't use, but sure. <laughs> I entered the trailer. Oh, uh, a little before noon. The meeting began at 12 sharp. It ended at 4. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. At 2.30, we took a 15 minute break in the morning. Did I, wait, that didn't... Did I say morning? No. Meeting. Oh, meeting. I was gonna say, like, that can't be morning. I must have missed that. Uh, Sal and I ate T-bone steaks on the table in front of the trailer. We found Mr. Hammer's body later when we all went to Studio One. That's all. Like, in that picture, I mean, I don't know if this game doesn't show blood, but there is no blood on that sphere. Yes. I, I'm guessing the game just doesn't show blood. It might be that, but it's also the whole thing that he said, like, oh, there's no blood on, like, the co on his costume, because he was obviously wearing the Steel Samurai costume, which we don't have in evidence. 
So all the blood would have been on that costume. Then There's also no blood on his wound, which doesn't yes, that's true make well. sense. But, I um, feel but yeah, I, I, I don't just know. Not, yeah. There's no blood in the game. I have, to, I have a question. I guess it makes sense because I, I don't know what the rating is for this game. Hmm. It's probably not going to be a free, but it's. I don't think it's like a 15 or 12 or something. So it might be like. I don't know. Um, I have a question about one part of your testimony. You were fatigued, so you had Sal take you. The van. Hmm. There's a van at Studio 2. Impossible. Because the thing was... That's impossible. That couldn't have happened. Because the tree was down. You could not have driven a van out there. I didn't take me in that. I thought it might be risky to walk. What, uh, what with the monkey's head topping over. There's no way that van could get past the head. I, I see. Very Wait, well. was what time was this? I think it's when... I think that's... She said that was when... Uh, when they went to Studio One, and she just meant she just said that the head had toppled over. There's no mm. way. Or if it was after four. Yeah, there's. Um, but there's still a big tree trunk down there. Would a van be able to get through it? People could walk by, sure, but a van? I don't know. Maybe not. This is the final battle, Nick. Let's do it. Oh, I'm ready. Let's go. Okay, let's let's find out everything about you. All right, so I went to the trailer a little before then. Okay. By yourself? Yes. And you didn't stop in the employee area? No. Are you always this... terse? Yes. Oh dear. <laughs> okay. Uh, did no one leave during the meeting? No one. Come on, let's talk a bit more about that. The witness did not come here to engage in idle conversation. Stop interrupting the testimony. The same could be said to you, Mr. Edgeworth. And please stop banging on your little desk. It hurts my ears. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> your hands off the three went to you on. And when exactly was that? I've forgotten. Maybe you could try remembering? No. <laughs> the meeting ended at four and the rehearsal was scheduled for five. I would think it was between those times. You would think? Come on, all you did was state the obvious, Edgeworth. So if, yeah, if that's the case, at least the monkey will be gone. Yeah. Hold on. You had Sal take you? What does that mean? Excuse me? It means what I just said. I had Sal take me in the studio to van. <laughs> yeah, phrasing. Oh, oh right. I didn't know you had that kind of relationship with her, sorry. His tongue works wonders, I'm sure, anyway. Uh, and what were you doing during that time? Don't hit your desk, it irritates me. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Wright. Uh, oops. It was a 15 minute break. Two minutes later. Do you have someone who can verify this? Sal. No, I mean someone else. One person is enough. She committed murder during that break. She wouldn't have had time to eat a T-bone steak. If I had some evidence that proved she didn't eat that steak. Do I have any evidence that proves that? That all right. Well, Nick, find anything? I don't wish you said a little more. Maybe the lack of bones is... Yeah, but I can't really present that. They didn't eat T-bone steak. Hmm. It's hard, I think. Oh. So I'm sure you'll find some kind of contradiction in what she said somewhere. Well, we'll see. So that's the trail for me. We got 12. So it's a house of office. We went to do one. I should see. So I had some take me. Some I had some mistake. Okay, what do I have here? So I have time of death, 2.30, caused by spear. Um, walk through it too. That's not relevant here. Guide map doesn't isn't relevant. This is not relevant. Um, block the path to see a crime between two fifteen and four. So I guess yeah, it would have been after the fact. That isn't helpful. Shows an incident from Jack Hammer. I guess it is this. Yeah. See, I guess I guess I will that's, present this. That's um. That's. Yeah, and maybe you'll say that there was no bones on Yeah, I think that's the only thing I can present. 
Unless I'm missing something else. What's so, the next one with the fan? Uh, you just have to drive to see one after the England trailer. Maybe something about it being in really good shape. What was that that they said about the van? It's like it's kept well or something. Uh, what you mean when we were examining it? When we, when we, yeah, when we examined it. I don't really remember, but it's technically irrelevant here because it's not part of it, of evidence. Yeah. We'll do the bone. Yeah, I the... think if it's not that, then we'd lose a bit of health and so be it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> As I thought. You claim you ate a T-bone steak. But I say you did not. What's this now, Mr. Wright? Look at this. It's a plate. This plate was on the table in the employee area. As you can see, a large bone has been left behind. Mr. Wright, need I remind you it was a T-bone steak? Exactly my point. Remember, if you will, Miss Vasquez and Mr. Manella ate at a table outside the trailer. Yeah, the bone is big enough to be a weapon, I think you're right. Um, yet there were no bones left on the plates. The plates were bare. Miss Vasquez. Tell me, how can a person eat a T-bone steak and not leave the bone? I think I know how. <laughs> you ate the bone too! Good stuff! <laughs> You didn't eat the steak. You didn't eat any steak during that break. You took your steak and threw it somewhere. Like that incinerator. I, I see. Then what was Miss Vasquez doing during her break? Isn't it obvious, Your Honor? Picking a salmon. Oh, that mean the still samurai, I guess. I mean, technically, maybe both, but... Um... She was meeting with the Steel Samurai. Order! Are you saying? Yes, Your Honor. As Miss Vasquez left the trailer to eat her steak, she ran into the Steel Samurai. And then you did it. You killed him with your own hands! Case over. Mr. Wright. Is not a little presumptuous. What kind of stunt are you trying to pull, right? Let him claim what he wants. You say I did it? Y yes. Fascinating. And Tiro was worrying, but today would be as boring as all the rest. Very well. Let us have a battle of wits, you and I. Any day, Vasquez. Good luck, Nick. Let's see. What was that murder weapon again? Oh yes, the samurai spear. Yes. I am, as you can see, a woman of petite strength stature. How could I possibly use that heavy spear as a weapon? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. We don't know actually how heavy it is. But, mm. like, we've not held it. The game, I don't think the game's ever described it apart from just heavy. Like, you know, a box full of fudge is heavy. Like, it's, 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 it's I don't know That's what... the most teal comparison I've ever heard. I worked at Thornton's, I had, <laughs> like, a, a, a box of, uh, a, a cargo of, of fudge was about 10 kilograms. Uh, and then, then they were sometimes packed in two, so it was 20 at a time. It was heavy, like, <laughs> Anyway, you couldn't, could you? I don't, I don't, I, I'm gonna say I couldn't, I, I, if I'm wrong then cool, I get to choose one of these. Um, I think you would have had a great deal of difficulty using that as a weapon. Pretty much anyone would. Huh. You see? Yes. However, that has no bearing on this case. Meaning? The samurai spear was not the murder weapon. What? <laughs> What is the meaning of this? The spear was found lying next to the victim's body. Oh, next to? It wasn't in him. I thought they placed it in him. Like, just as a... Okay. Interesting. I have proof, Your Honor. I can prove that the samurai spear was not used as a murder weapon. Right. It's obviously going to be the fact that it's... It's melded with stupid duct tape. 
It's no way it would snap instantly. I present my proof. The so-called murder weapon. But that is the murder weapon. Not so fast. Remember that this spear broke during the morning action scene run-through? But someone fixed the spear. It was the security lady. <laughs> she fixed it with duct tape. Now, tell me, how is it possible for someone to stab a man who is wearing a thick costume with this through the chest? Order, order! Mr. Wright, what are you driving at? Think about what you're... Silence. I'm the one testifying here and I will be heard. <laughs> are you quite sane? Are you even aware of what you're saying? If the samurai spear was not the murder weapon, then pray tell what was. How was Hammer killed? Well, Mr. Wright, can you tell us what weapon was used to kill Mr. Hammer? I think maybe we're going with that it was the fence again? I don't know. I don't know if it was the fence again. And I don't know... The kid said that they were pushed, right? And they... Hmm. They just stopped moving. Although that was the victim, but... It's hard to gleam anything from that. Yeah, but the thing is though, like... The kid also said they were on the ground, right? If, like this image, they would be very much impaled on a spike. It might look like they were on the ground, though. Uh, I suppose. I'll, I'll see, I can tell you and show that image and see what happens. Would I make a claim like that if I couldn't tell you what the weapon was? I'm afraid your confidence can sometimes be unfelt. <laughs> so thank, thank you. Thank you, game, for telling me I'm shit. I appreciate you. Very well. Let's see this by the way. Um, is there anything else? I mean, we could just be like, yeah, that's the bone. Uh, but... I think the thing with the bones not being there is that they, they ditched yeah. the steak to make it look like they ate yeah. in the it's brain. the glass from this boy. It's the kid's camera. <laughs> I didn't have it on him. I'll go with this. Look at this photo. What is this? Why, that's Jack Hammer standing at the top of the stairs. Order! Order! If I cannot have order, this trial will be suspended. Mr. Wright, what is this all about? This photograph is from five years ago. There was an unfortunate accident at Global Studios. This is a photo of that very accident. Not a word of this was leaked to the outside. It was a close-kept secret at the studios. What does this have to do with the current case? Mr. Edgeworth. You still can't see it? See the fallen man in this photo? See how the fence post pierced him through the chest? What? Are you saying? Yes. What happened five years ago? Has happened again! Mr. Wright, continue. It's 2.30pm on the day of the murder. Miss D. Vasquez meets with Jack Hammer outside the Studio 2 trailer. Then, she did it. She pushed Mr. Hammer off the stairs on onto the fence. Just like Mr. Hammer had himself done five years ago. But it would be pointed down, It wouldn't. he wouldn't go through it. Though whether she did it on purpose or by accident, I cannot say. In other words, the victim, Mr. Hammer, he died in the same way that he caused another man to die? Five years ago? Precisely. Ironic, isn't it? <laughs> Very creative, Mr. Wright. I could use a man like you on my scriptwriting stuff. You deny that what I say is true? Mr. Wright. Let's say, for the sake of the argument, that Hammer died at the trailer, as you say. Yet the body was found at Studio One, was it not? And in the evil magistrate's costume, no less. Are you then claiming that I carried the body to Studio One, and returned to the trailer, all in the space of a 15-minute break? 
How could I have disposed of the body? The break in the meeting at the trail lasted 15 minutes from 2.30 to 2.45. Could Jack Hammer have been pushed off the stairs to his death? Then carried to Studio One and placed inside his costume? There wasn't enough time. Indeed. Well, Mr. Wright, how could she have dealt with the body? I bet she could move it. <laughs> Uh, she had another way, could have been carried it over in the van. Well, no, because the the head, the monkey head definitely would have been there at that time, so she wouldn't have been able oh, to get... Oh, true, 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 true. Um, that is true. Could her mafia goons have done it? Four big dudes would be able to carry him. Well, him probably, over. but is that the answer? Mm -hmm. It doesn't answer one other question. Why did Mr. Hammer use the sleeping pills at all? What was he trying to get out of this? Hmm. Because it's all well and good doing that and going up to Miss Vasquez as the Steel Samurai, but why? Was it an order or was it some random thing? Like, I don't know. But I'm going to say what she had another way to see what happens. What if she had another way to carry the body other than with her own hands? For instance, actually, for that matter, there was no need for her to do the deed in 15 minutes. And there was a way for you to carry that body. Interesting. Let's hear it then. Mr. Wright, please show us how she carried the body. Oh dear. Um, well, it, it must be the van, right? Well, yeah, but it's... Well, that's going to be for the evidence, but it can't be right because the thing would have fallen over. How else would she have carried the body? Well, he, what did he say that she had no need to do it in 15 minutes? Oh, they just put him in the van. Ah! Oh. And they go to the van later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And... Yeah, that makes sense. Miss Vasquez, you carried the body to Studio One, and you used the Studio Van to do it. And that's why she was fatigued. Like, that's why I came with her. Uh, we came with her. Uh, recall your testimony. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. There was a van there, right? I had Sal drive me. You used the van to carry the body to Studio One. Then before everyone else got there, you put the body into the Magistrate costume. Objection! Hold on, right. Don't forget, it was Sal Manella that drove the van. Are you suggesting that Mr. Manella was a conspirator? Yeah, pretty much. Of course. Well, he might not have Maybe known not. about it. I'm just going to say, yeah, anyway. Although, if he was out there for the stake, then probably. Yeah. Of course Salmonella has to have been a conspirator. The body had to be placed in the van and put into the costume. There's no way Ms. Vasquez could have done that alone. Also, don't forget that they had to dispose of the Steel Samurai costume and presumably clean a lot of blood off of that Although, thing. the kid only saw one person. Although maybe he came out after. I wish the kid mentioned who the other person was. Hmm. I don't know. No. Well, he said that they were thin, right? So it's... Yeah. That limits who it could be. I think it's Penny. But anyway, hmm. they had to. Because it was covered in Mr. Hammer's blood. They probably burned it in that small incinerator. Well, Miss Vasquez, shall I continue? No need. You're smarter than you look, Mr. Wright. <laughs> I lose. You win. It was fun. I win? No way. <laughs> Um, so, what happens next? <laughs> Don't hit me! <laughs> Don't you have anything to say? What would you like me to say? Huh? I, I lost S something like that? I just said that. Wait, so you mean... D. Vasquez, it was, so it was you? You killed Jack Hammer?
Who can say? <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure I did, Mr. Wright? We just engaged in a battle of wits. And the result of that battle, you proved the possibility that I murdered Hammer. R right. But that is only a possibility. Proof is another thing altogether. You lack decisive proof, Mr. Wright. What? 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 Uh, what? No! We had you. Order. Mr. Edgeworth, your thoughts. Um, uh, hmm. Uh, of course. It's as the witness says. Certainly, it does seem very likely she did it, but uh, there's no proof. Which one isn't sure? Well, I came here as a witness today. If you've no more questions, I'll be leaving. What do now? Ooh, testify again, or should I say no for? Uh, let's probably testify again. Probably good to get more info out of her. Mm. Is she just gonna get the same? She might, but it might be a different test, uh, like, testimonial. I, I'd like you to testify again. Testify again. No one to give up, Mr. Wright. Think about it. Even if I were to testify again, what's the point? I can only say what I said before. The truth, Mr. Wright. I've already said all there is to say. What would happen if I said it again? You'd ask the same questions, get the same answers. A waste of time. Oh, damn. Damn it! It's come so far only to fail. As it seems there are no further questions, I would like to end the cross-examination of the witness, Miss Vasquez. Objection! Yes, Mr. Edgeworth. I was hoping to come up with a question while I was objecting, Your Honor. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> I see. Very well. <laughs> Your Honor! I request that the witness testify again. You are the prosecutor, are you not? Why are you badgering me? I'm your witness. I... I just want to hear your testimony again. Does this make any sense to you, Your Honor? I don't see that we have anything to gain by repeating the last several minutes. Mr. Edgeworth, I too see little point in making Miss Vasquez repeat herself. What exactly did you want her to testify about? Hmm. Well, yes, um. Indeed. Verily, I say, ergo. I want to hear about what happened after they found the body. After they found the body? Very well. The witness will testify to the court concerning this matter. <laughs> Nick. Why did Edgeworth... Who knows? You probably realised she did it too. But... but... Wasn't he the one that said he always gets a guilty verdict? After all that? Edgeworth. Hmm. Alright. Maybe it is her. I was with Sal and Old Bag, the security lady, when we found the body. The assistant was there too. Only Powers was absent. I immediately called the police, then Powers showed up. Old Bag was there as well. I thought she wasn't because she wanted to see the place. She didn't have the key card. Mm. That's interesting. That is interesting, okay. Hmm. The security lady, Old Bag, was quite agitated, pointing at Powers, saying he did it. I asked to be left out of the proceedings. I went back to the trailer to get my script and direction notes. Then I went home. Hmm. I see no issues raised by this testimony. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. Okay, Nick, we're close. Real close. She may be acting tough now, but if you put her on the spot, she's sure to falter. Find the key you need and twist the truth out of her, Nick. Right. Okay. 
so sound our bag. What time was that? We were to meet at five for the rehearsal. So I'd say it was then. When exactly did you and Mr. Manello arrive at the studio? About ten minutes before. I wasn't stuffing any bodies into costumes, mind you. Hmm. Where were the other employees when you got to the studio? They weren't there yet. Well, then you could have put Hammer in that costume with Salmonella's help. Oh, what did I just say? Did I not just say I wasn't stuffing any bodies into any costumes? You should try to listen to what people are saying, boy. Boy? The witness will continue with us. <laughs> Good. This one's there too. Only Powers is absent. Mr. Powers was taking a nap, correct? So he says. Did no one go to call him? Remember. Remember what? There was a dead body lying in front of us, yet you expect me to be calm. You certainly seem calm enough when I accuse you of murder. <sighs> Wait a second. Wouldn't that be the other way around? The other way around? You discovered a murdered body and, and one person was missing, right? Wouldn't you normally go looking for the missing person? I have to agree with the defense on this one. Well, Miss Vasquez. <laughs> logically speaking, perhaps. But no one there was thinking very logically, I assure you. Also, without his steel samurai costume, Powers didn't really stand out. We often left him on the bus when shooting at location. No one noticed he was missing. Poor Powers. Hmm, well, I suppose that explains that. Very well, Miss Vasquez. You may continue. Maybe called the plays comparison. What was everyone else doing at the time? No one said a thing. He was silent. Completely silent. So we stood there until Powers finally arrived on the scene. Sorry. Sorry I'm late. Then, silence. Dead silence. Hmm. Silence. <laughs> hey. Hey, Nick. Why is everyone so quiet? Someone should do something to lighten things up. I'll juggle. It'll be fun. You know anything about this quiet detective? Hold back. Security lady. Why did the security lady think Powers had done it? She said because she saw him going toward the studio. Right. Still so right. Did the detective arrest Mr. Powers based solely on the security lady's word? Perhaps not. She seems to have also given the detective that photograph. Of course, I heard all this after the fact. A photograph. Being the one taken by the security camera. She's not known for exhibiting the best sense of judgement when it comes to Hammer. Hmm. I don't think there's anything in there I can use. Must be left out of the proceedings. You asked to be left out? Yes. It seems that everyone else was questioned. And I'm really not fond of that sort of thing. But you can't just decide who the police will and won't question. Thankfully, the studio thinks otherwise. They were nice enough to understand that, since we were in a meeting. There was no way we could have been involved. Thus, they covered for us. Covered for you? Or covered it up for you? There must have been a lot riding on it with all those bigwigs at the meeting. I'm sure her professionals helped convince everyone they didn't require questioning. The scripts in your direction notes. Yes, they're quite valuable. It wouldn't do. It wouldn't do to have them stolen. No, I guess not. Wait a second. I thought you came to Studio One for a rehearsal. Why didn't you bring your script and notes? Well, I was under the impression that we wouldn't be able to rehearse anything. Why? There was a murder after all. Who could think of rehearsing after that? Yeah, I guess. But she didn't know there was a murder until she got there, right? Yeah. Hmm. Very well. Objection! Your Honor, I have an objection to the witness's last statement. Huh? Think. Miss Vasquez said she didn't bring the script because she wouldn't be because there wouldn't be a rehearsal. Don't you see what that means? 
she would have had to know about the murder before going to Studio One. <laughs> yeah. With uh, he's helping us, but I'll take it. Order, Mr. Edgeworth. What have you have just said is a reasonable observation. However, I find it hard to understand why the prosecution would make such a move. Or are you thinking of a career change to defense? Uh, I appreciate the concern, Your Honor. I will stand by my statement, however, regardless of how the court sees my role here. Now, Miss Vasquez, do you have an explanation? I can't believe Edgeworth is helping me. <laughs> so the prosecution is in cahoots with the defense. What kind of court is this? No matter. I think you misunderstood me. I had a perfectly good reason to believe there would be no hassle. Mm -hmm. Very well. The witness will change her testimony to reflect this reason. I knew the Howl was injured and couldn't do any action scenes, so I left them behind. Hmm. Oh, okay. How did you know about the injury? How did I know? Oh yeah, of course. She wasn't there at the rehearsal. Sam. He told me. Sam, the writer? No. You have to find something to peg this on her here. Or everything we've done till now will have been wasted. I believe in you, Nick. Go get him. Okay. Let's look at our evidence. What pins this on her? So, pissed through the chest by a spear, dragging one leg. After those two years, metal weapon, duct tape shaft, monkey heads, the camera, which doesn't really tell us much. Um, shows the accident going to the camera, but obviously the stupid little You hit the van. Okay. So, we sell no bag the security lady when we found the body. The assistant was there too, and the house was absent. I immediately called the police, and powers showed up. Security lady over back was quite agitated, pointing at Powers, saying he did it. I asked to be left out of the proceedings. I went back to the trailer to get my script and direction notes. I knew that oh, no, no, no. Huh? Old Bag wanted to go to Studio 2, but she thought that, that what they're talking about is Studio 1. She didn't have the key card for Studio 2, right? No, she didn't have Studio 1, because we gave oh. her the key card for Studio 1. Remember, we gave it to her because she wants to see the body. I don't. Yeah. I don't understand what. Or she wants to see yeah, the that... area. That. That's a contradiction, but I don't have any evidence to prove that contradiction. I can't tell if that's a script error or a misinterpretation on my part. Um. Anyway. Okay. Maybe she wanted to see it again. Yeah, maybe. Uh, probably saying he did it. I asked to be left out of the proceedings. I went back to the trailer to get my script and direction notes. I knew that Hammer was injured. And Wait. Couldn't... Didn't she not have the script? No, she said because she didn't. We had, we had to get the script. She was looking for the script when we first found yeah, it. Yeah. Uh, she said Sal had it. Um, yeah, it, it was in Studio One on the chair. Oh, it was in Studio One on the chair. It was, but we don't have the script here as evidence. Yeah, we don't. Yeah, we don't have this as evidence. That's very annoying. Because that's true. It was on the chair. I yeah, for so I thought Salmonella had it in in his dressing room, but no, it was on the chair. You're right. Huh. I'm gonna press again and see if something happens. Script in your direction notes. Yes, they're quite valuable. Yeah, that's the same. I'm gonna back off because it's just gonna be the same. No, I'll back off. I'll show she goes. Okay. And then I knew how I was injured and couldn't do any action scenes, so I left them behind. How? What is it specifically that's a contradiction here? 
I'm back to the trailer to get the script and direction on this. I mean, technically that, and technically the other. Okay, we've we found two contradictions, but they're not helpful, because we don't have evidence to prove it. Um, it has to be left out of the proceedings. The security baby old bag was quite agitated, pointing at power, saying he did it. They immediately called the police, then power showed up. The system was there too, only power was absent. Your sound old bags. A lot of health. Yeah, but I mean, it's it's the thing is we have to get the right evidence on the right prompt. That's a lot of options. Who did they call the police? And power showed up. Security lady old bag was quite agitated. Went to get power, saying he did it. I asked to be left out of the proceedings. I went back to the trailer to get my script and direction notes. This because use the van. Don't really know. I don't know. <laughs> Could be. Well, why did she go back to get the script and direction? Well, we can't. We've pressed this. Yeah. Yeah, the press was that she knew that Hammer was injured. But how did she know Hammer was injured? Well, because Sal told her. Well, Sal, Sal was there. there. The rehearsal. Yeah. Okay, he was. I couldn't remember. Because our first testimony was that he wasn't, so I forgot that. Okay. Um. um. I'm gonna do the van, see if it's randomly a thing. It is not. Your Honor, what do you think about the witness's statement? No, yeah, cool, I think so. Um, yeah, I mean, what is the line? What's specifically the thing that's wrong here? God. I don't know. This is so annoying, cause this is like, this is one of the most crucial pieces of the case. Yeah. Get this, we win, pretty much. So what is it? I still left that out of the proceedings. Wait. No, go back, go back. Go back to that I knew. It wasn't Hammer that was injured. Oh! It wasn't Hammer! It was Power. It was Power, oh my god, right! She slipped. She yes, yes, slip. yes. Oh my god. Oh, I never noticed that. Thank you. <laughs> you knew that Hammer was injured. Don't you think that's a little funny? I mean, it was the Steel Samurai who was injured. It was Will Powers. What? Mr. Wright, explain yourself. Yes, Mr. Hammer is dragging his leg in this photo. But that's because he was pretending to be Mr. Powers. Pretending? One person was injured in the run through that morning. That person was Mr. Powers, not Mr. Hammer. Now, why did you think it was Mr. Hammer who was injured? Uh, you already said it was Sal who told me. That's right, he must have gotten it wrong. <laughs> I think not. Mr. Manella was at the run through that morning. He would have known it was Mr. Powers who was injured. He saw it happen. Why would he tell you the wrong person? Miss Vesquez. You saw Hammer limping. Actually, you didn't hear anything from Mr. Manella. You saw Mr. Hammer limping with your own eyes. Yes, but wasn't it Mr. Powers who was injured? Yes, but remember, Mr. Hammer was dragging his leg too. He was pretending to be Mr. Powers. 
Ah. And when he was doing, and when was he doing this? Well, it would have, uh, it would have to. Oh, I can't read that. <laughs> it would have to have been after he put on the Steel Samurai costume and went to Studio Two, where he was murdered. Exactly. Miss Vasquez, you met him, didn't you? You saw the Steel Samurai limping. And Mr. Hammer was in that Steel Samurai suit. That's why you were confused. That's why you thought it was Mr. Hammer who had been injured that morning. I can't believe it took us that long to just notice that the name was to be not fair, the right that, name. That is, that's tough. Like, I'm, I'm sure there's going to be people who are like, oh, why didn't you spot that immediately? But like, it's just a slip of the name. Yeah, right? yeah, and like, they're both kind of similar names. Yeah, and you, we're just, we're trying to look at every piece of dialogue, every inconsistency. And to be fair, we found two of them. <laughs> just two that weren't relevant technically because we had no proof of them. But anyway, we'll have order. <laughs> Witness. Can you refute this claim? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, let's see you sneak out of this one, Vasquez. Very well. I have a question for you. Uh, why are the real killers always so persistent? Why in the world would I want Mr. Hammer dead? Yes, he'd fallen on hard times, but he was a star. I had nothing to gain from his death. Nothing. Hmm. Yeah, she would need a motive. Why would she have killed the victim? If there is a reason, it is unclear to this court. Does the defense have anything to say on the matter? In other words, can you prove she had a motive? Can I prove No, I think you might be right that... Uh... Huh? The only person that really has a motive is someone that might be related to the, the murder victim five years ago. Yeah. I, I don't think... Unless this is the proof. I don't have proof. Can I prove she had a motive? Not really. I mean, it doesn't say... I'm not going to lose health for saying, of course, I can prove it. Because there's no health bar. So I may as well just say it. <laughs> like, mm. See what happens. Okay. I have proof and I'll show it to you. I present to the court evidence as to Miss Vasquez's motive in this murder. I mean, let's present the photo and see what happens. This is my proof. This is the photo from before. This photo reveals the motive in this murder. I'm right, aren't I, Miss Vasquez? Five years ago, Mr. Hammer was at the height of his fame. With D. Vasquez's help, a terrible accident was swept under the carpet. Ladies and gentlemen, the case currently up for trial. It began on that day five years ago. Ironically enough, the accident precipitated Mr. Hammer's fall. His fall from stardom. His guilt weighed him down, no doubt. However, you, D. Vasquez, used Mr. Hammer. You made him work for you for petty change. <laughs> Bringing us to the present day, and Mr. Hammer's last role as the evil magistrate. Yes, undoubtedly it was a constant source of shame for the ex-star. Hmm. One moment, Mr. Wright. We are talking about motives here, yet you have only talked about Mr. Hammer. It almost seems as if... As if it was... As if it was Mr. Hammer who had killed D. Vasquez, not the other way around. What motive would Miss Vasquez have? Yes, that's right. According to what you say, I would have no... had no reason to kill Hammer. He was a good source of income for me. And I never get rid of useful men. It's a policy of mine. Mr. Wright, please explain Miss Vasquez's motive for murder. I don't think she had one. No. Okay, let's just double check one more time. Uh, or, unless... We still don't really know what he was doing. Oh, you mean sleeping pills? 
No, yeah, like, why Why did he do all this? No, I have no idea. Mode. I mean, I could present the sleeping pills and see. Him going... Well, I would say the, to present the photo of him dressed as the Steel Samurai, because he's going to this important meeting with the bigwigs. Yeah. Presumably to, like, try and convince them that he should be the Steel Samurai. Yeah, maybe. And then she encounters him outside, realizes this is not what she wants. Mm. Right, 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 right. They get into an argument and she pushes him on the spike. Right. But, if he was just, put, like, act putting in the costume to show up the big rig, big wigs, not big rigs, that's a different thing, why would he, uh, why would he limp? Why is he limping, yeah. There's no reason to limp for the camera because it doesn't matter. The camera doesn't care. He's, he's trying to impress the big wigs, being like, ah, I'm the better Steel Samurai, cast me instead. Like, he doesn't, like, if the other guy injured himself, I won't injure myself. Like, there's no reason Maybe he that. was hoping to get into the meeting. I don't know. Uh, it's very strange. I mean, I could try she has no motive and see what happens, because I, I don't know if that's evidence enough. Because the have, the thing, if we say she has no motive, I lose, and I'm wrong, I lose health. But mm -hmm. if, I set, if I reveal evidence, I could go through systematically and keep losing health. Yeah. So I'm just going to weigh out the odds and see what happens. Yeah. Yeah, she had no motive, Your Honor. What's that now? It was Mr. Hammer who was out for blood. All Miss Vasquez did was push him off the stairs in self-defense. Oh. oh yeah. yeah, he could have been out for revenge. Mm. What's that now? It's simple. Mr. Hammer was intending to kill Miss Vasquez. Wh what? Oh, it's still you. A what? <laughs> Your Honor. Jack Hammer drugged Mr. Powers with sleeping pills. Jack yeah, Hammer snuck killed, into yeah. the dressing room and stole the Steel Samurai costume. Jack Hammer wore the costume to fool the security lady into thinking he was Powers. Then Jack Hammer made his way to the trailer. And for what purpose, you ask? To kill D. Vasquez, who had so cruelly taken advantage of him all those years. Oh, that's just like the spear. So you did do it, didn't you? Yes. I am guilty. It was me. Someone call an ambulance! There's blood everywhere! We're too late! Oh wait, maybe that's not her. Uh, ha miss Maybe that's you. That's who? Uh, Salmonella. Sal? Ah, Miss Vasquez! What? <laughs> it's, really, it's not gonna be him, and it's gonna no, be like... What happened here? <laughs> what happened here? <laughs> I have no idea who's speaking. God. That sounds like Miss Vasquez. Manuel fell from the tra trailer stairs. Okay, yeah. Manuel. No, no, this is the this is the old. This is five years ago. Oh right. Okay. Right. Okay. So, so this is Jack, Hammer. That's Hammer talking. Miss Vasquez, please try to remain calm. Every star has a terrible voice. No, no. How could this? It was an accident. That's it. Oh, I, I, is it? I don't know. Oh, I don't Mr. know. Mr. Hammer was doing an action scene and... No! Manuel! Manuel! Uh... I don't... Who's speaking so hard to I, know? I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah. Just... No! <laughs> don't die, please. <laughs> Very confused. <laughs> Congratulations, Mr. Wright. I lose. Again. That would be kind of a fun puzzle game, is you, you get, like, just the text of a, of a thing and you have to figure out who said what, like, logically. Mm. Mr. Edgeworth, where's D. Vasquez? In the waiting lobby, Your Honor. As calm and collected as ever. I see. 
Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor? It appears you have brought about yet another miracle. I, uh, thank you, Your Honor. I think not, Your Honor. Will Powers was innocent. That he should be found so is only natural, not a miracle. Uh, yes. Yes, you're right. Very well. This court finds the defendant, Mr. Will Powers, not guilty. Well, my penny theory... Um, not guilty. My, my outlandish penny theory was uh, very, very free and wrong. <laughs> cool. <laughs> It was a fun theory. It was a fun theory. I just, it was just because I didn't think they would kill him the same way twice. So I thought, well, like, who else would do it if not someone in the trailer? But It's like poetry, it rhymes. This, that is all. This court is adjourned. Yay, we did it. We won. I, I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. I'm just glad you're okay. Yeah, but... It's sad. I know now, but Mr. Hammer stole my costume. It's bad enough that he wanted to kill Miss Vasquez, but to think that he tried to frame me for the murder. Is, Ma is Miss Vasquez actually going to go to jail? Because she was only in self-defense, right? I don't know. I don't know how it works in that. Like, she did cover up the murder. Yeah, she, so she did. So. She covered up both murders, so I guess she's guilty for that. But in terms of actually for committing murder, presumably not, because it is... Like, no, if if anything, it would be manslaughter. Right, but would she still be arrested for that? Like, if if someone comes up to you like with a knife, hypothetically, and you push them away, I don't know. Into I'm not a, like, and they fall on their own knife. Surely that's like that's not on you. Surely you would well, yeah, you would you hope self defense. Yeah, you would hope that it's not on you. But okay. Anyway, it makes me sad. Tell me why, Mr. Wright. Uh, huh? Tell me! Why did Mr. Hammer want to blame me? Do I have evidence? Um, yeah, I think maybe the book of all the victories is, could oh. be good evidence. Yeah, I suppose. Well, this is what I think. Mr. Hammer wanted to put the blame on you because... The monkey. He wanted to be the monkey. <laughs> <laughs> it's because you were the steel samurai. So it was the Steel Samurai. Mr. Hammer was a big star once. He was reduced to acting in a kid's show. And the villain to boot. Uh, and as the villain. Uh, the kids loved the Steel Samurai. And so he hated you. I... I think I understand. You could have just told me. I would have changed places with him any time. I think you're missing the point. Oh, thank you. I'm just glad it's all over. So am I. So am I. Congratulations, WP! Oh? Oh! <laughs> Thanks to you, I'll be able to don the Steel Samurai outfit once more! Oh, about that. Uh, <laughs> you've been cancelled. I can't wait to get back into that sweaty costume and... Is... Is something wrong? No, of course not. Ah! N Nick! Edgeworth! Say something, right? I'm not good at small talk. Huh? What? Um, that was too bad, Edgeworth. <laughs> you don't waste any time gloating, do you? No, I, I really want to thank you. Vasquez would have gotten away if you hadn't stepped in. Ah, oh, uh, pleased to meet you. I'm Powers! Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Edgeworth? <laughs> I thought so. I'm a big fan of your work, Mr. Powers. What's that? What are you going to he, say? He, he's a fan, that's oh, why. Oh, right. I see. Liar. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think he is. I think he's just making, trying to make oh. small talk. Right. I must say, I hadn't expected to meet you again after all these years. Meet again? However, in retrospect, it would have been better had we not met. Thanks to you, I am settled with unnecessary feelings. Unnecessary feelings? 
gay subplot? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Unease and uncertainty. Are this kind of necessary? They only serve to get in my way. You listen to me, Phoenix Wright. Don't ever show your face in front of me again. Oh, Edgeworth. You've got seven more games together. <laughs> That's what I came here to tell you. Um, Mr. Wright? Was that guy your friend? What? Friends? As if. They're rivals. Rivals, right, Nick? For now we are, I guess. Huh? Why do I get the feeling I'm missing something? Come on, Nick, tell me, what's the deal with you and Edgeworth? And so the curtain closed on another trial. I caused quite a stir by revealing that accident from five years ago. It was the talk of the town. Thankfully, Global Studios re its programming change. They went back to making kids shows again. Yay! Hey, oh! Sweet! It's... it's the one inspired by Maya. Yeah. Nick! This is it! The new show starts today. You're gonna watch it with me, right? I'm gonna get royalties, right? I hope Will Powers plays... Yeah. Himself. I'll admit, I was kinda surprised. I didn't think they'd seriously go through with it. You have to buy trading cards too, okay? We have to trade with Cody and that assistant. Fine. Fine, I'll do it. Isn't it great yeah! to tell you? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> awesome. I wonder if they'll show his real face this time. Uh, I very much doubt it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think the world is ready for the real Will Powers. Oh, that was cool. We did it. We won. I was I was kind of hoping Edgeworth was just going to come up and be like, Oh, I'm actually a huge fan. I won an autograph. Mm. Oh, look. Edgeworth is there. It's almost like he's going to be there again. What a surprise. Who would have guessed? Who would have guessed that we're going to see him again? Also, there's a parrot. <laughs> I like parrots. parrots so, parrot. another case solved. Yeah. We did it. Absolutely nailed it. That was really fun. Oh, next one's called Turn About Goodbyes. Ooh. I like that a lot. Yeah, it's a it's a fun game. Um and uh it's it's fun to dish out insane theories, because why not? Um so I guess the true villain was Hammer. Yes. Uh, the victim. On on both counts. Uh so that's fun. Um Yeah, I'm uh, I'm looking forward to the other two, there are, I believe there are five cases. Uh, though I I might be wrong in saying this, and please someone, I'm sure someone will correct me in the comments if I am wrong. I think the original Game Boy Advance only had four cases, and the fifth one was added in the DS version, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Oh. And the fifth one is also super long. Like, I've, I've not watched or looked at anything to do with the cases, but I have, like, seen... Like, roughly how long each one is via a YouTube video just to be like, okay, what's the timestamp? How long is this going to take them versus me? Because we're also voice acting and bantering and they're, they know, they presumably know all the answers. They're going to go quick fire, etc. Um, so this took us three sessions of two to three hours each time. So let's say, let's say it was around seven ish hours for us. It took them three. Uh, mm. <laughs> so uh, I happen to know the final one took them seven hours. <laughs> so it's a oh, huge God. case. Um, it's big. So I'm looking forward to it, but also, oh boy, it's big. Um, so yeah, it'll be, uh, it'll be fun. But, uh, but yeah, no, uh, ne next time's turn about goodbyes. It should be a lot of fun. I am sure. Uh, Emil, thank you very much for joining me. Thanks for having me. And, uh, I'd like to make a public apology to my cat for all the voices that <laughs> I did. Oh, I'm, I'm sure they loved it. Why not? It was they were very confused. <laughs> Is that anything new? You've been on my channel for so long doing <laughs> stuff like this. True. <laughs>